Every game seemed to give us a little bit of something to learn from, to grow from, but not until the Florida game, not until we go into a fourth-ranked team, a team that on paper you could not find any way we could win. Red to setback. Here's the second down play for Werfel from the Auburn 11. Six-man rush. Werfel's going to throw in the end zone. Passes intercepted wide open at the 10, to the 15, to the 20. He's at the 30. He's at the 40. Giving chases. Werfel won't catch him. To the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He is gone. 95 yards. Touchdown, Auburn! Calvin Jackson. He's Auburn's best one-on-one cover man. And Jim, he saw that play coming. Danny Werfel, if there's been any the fault or any fault I could say in his play so far this season it's been the fact that he's been intercepted he threw it out thinking that Willie Jackson was going to be there Auburn had two defenders actually on the play Calvin Jackson who had five passes broken up last week against Todd Jordan and Mississippi State just stepped in and it was clear sailing Danny Werfel couldn't catch him and Auburn just that quickly Back in the ball game because of the Florida turnover. That's what's killed Florida. And Auburn's taking advantage of it. A tremendous defensive play by Calvin Jackson. You talk about igniting a crowd. They're going crazy in Auburn now. It's a full yard, Jim, on fourth down. Two tight ends. White up under center. One wide receiver from the I set. White's going to give it to Bostic. Racing to get outside. Won't make it. Broke a tackle. He's going to go. He was able to spring loose and get his touchdown. Auburn moves on top, ties it up, 27 all, and a chance to go on top with the point after. Harrison Houston comes from the slot to the left. Here's Willie Jackson out on the left flank. With the uh, tailback, Randolph is at fullback. Auburn showing blitz. Back to throw Werfel. He's in trouble. Werfel gets it away. It's intercepted by Chris Schilling. Schilling to the 30, 35 to the 40. Schilling to the 45. He's at midfield. He's to the 40. Looking for a block. He's at the 25. He's at the 20. Still on his feet at the 15. He is driven out of bounds at the Gator 10. The second interception of the day by the Auburn defensive backs. That time they got the big rush on Danny Werfel. Forced him to throw early. Mike Calvin may have got a hand on the Gator quarterback. And it forced a big turnover. And Auburn is first and goal in at Auburn. the Florida 10. Auburn with two wideouts, a one-point lead. Here's Bostic giving it off to Sanders. And around Sanders. Got clean sailing to the five. He's in. Touchdown, Auburn! Ball at the left hash mark. He'll have an angle back to the right. Waiting for the snap. The spot. Kick away. Plenty long. Kick is good! It's good! Etheridge, at a minute 21 in the ball game has kicked it through. And Auburn breaks out on top, 38-35. All right, here's Florida now. Looks like a big bend right. They've got Terry Dean back up quarterback in the ball game. Look for him to get his hands on the ball and try to throw the big bend. Fourth and ten, Werfel. Back to throw, fires. It's Jack Jackson. He's got a first down, tried to lateral. Loose ball. It's on the ground. Time is out. Auburn has won. Auburn has won. The Tigers have defeated the Florida Gators. Auburn 38, Florida 35. Can you believe it? This team of destiny has come from behind to upset fourth ranked and previously undefeated Florida. The Auburn Tigers are back. Count on it. Listen now, man. Hey, no, everybody here. I can't say offense. I, everybody here. Everybody here. Great job, man. You believe in yourself. You can do anything. You go. You go to top four now. With the, I don't care where they rank. They can rank us nothing for all I care. 
Yeah. You're there now. You're there. It's a great win, man. That's a guy. I'm so proud of you. Just an amazing, amazing football game. Let's go in the dressing room now. And first off, we will see uh, a couple of uh, really great sights. Uh, there's a coach and his quarterback. Two brothers congratulating one another. Uh, two great players right there. That's wonderful stuff. And, and there's a former coach and his quarterback. I tell you, Coach Dye was about as excited. I, I, I tell you, he's an excited person and loves Auburn, I will tell you. And the fans would, would, would not leave, so some of the players went back on the field. Coach, that's Dennis Collier. He had a big win over Florida in Pat Dye's first year at Auburn. I tell you, the fans were great. I had to go out there and lead them in the War Eagle, and the players wanted to go out, and the fans, I tell you, they were a big part of that win. Yeah, what an effort, what an effort in the second half. Man. Yes. Like we all, you know, came in behind. We just kept our poise and kept our confidence up. They would come out and ball with them. And like I said, we just came out the second half and turned it up a notch and came out with a win. If I'm not mistaken, Brian may have pressured him when you intercepted that ball. Wasn't he on the blitz? Yes, we had a blitz going on and uh he just threw it up, get rid of it. And I was still out right there, just lingering in uh in zone and I just picked it off. Well why didn't you score? I got kind of tired down at the end. They were throwing some good blocks for me. And I was cutting and, and slashing, and uh, I just ran out of gas. When you going to Hand City? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Right now, uh, I'm just so happy we won today. And uh, it ain't no feeling like this. I mean, this is a big game. It's our seventh win, and, and it's been a long time since we beat Florida. And uh, I'm just happy right now. And the way you had to do it you know, uh, makes it all the better, huh? Yeah, it took a total team effort. Uh, it came down to uh, what Coach had told us. It probably had come down early in the week. He said it come down to a field goal, and it did. Uh, we was down early, but we kept fighting, and we had a 60-minute plan, and it turned out how we wanted it. Didn't you have pressure on Chris interception? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried to press, press the quarterback, and I did. He threw it up. How about Otis? You got these guys to come up here, and they won a big game. Oh, yeah. That's a great win for us. I mean, we all pulled together, and we played hard tonight. And all. I'm just glad we won. Nickel, nickel package wasn't working early, but it was late. It's a total package to begin with, and we had confidence in it going into the game. And, uh, you know, we, we, we messed up on a few situations here and there, but all in all, it came out right. And this little dude turned the game around. Short dog. Oh, short, short dog. Short dog. I'm trying to catch Brian. One more, one more, and I got him. <laughs> I wish I could be out there with him now. I look at the defense. Each game, they're getting big plays and just going out all out. Look at Scott. This little man come in and made a field goal for us and all. Hey, we love this game. But that was that was for the Dillard boys right there. That's for them boys from Florida. They picked a good time running the river too. You're right. They picked a great time. I, Stan said he made the call. Coach was um looking for another swap boot rail to Tony Tony at a tight end, but Stan made the call and coach coach let him call him. That was a great time to call it. Had some big plays on uh, coverage, didn't you? Yeah, they um moved me to defense and today I just concentrate on special team and just tried to get down there and make a big play. You learn it. You learn in the outside linebacker spot, huh? Well, I'm learning. I'm, I'm, I haven't learned it quite good enough to get in the game yet, so I, I didn't play too much, play at all today. But I'm learning. Uh, I'm going to write across your chest that you're the designated sack man. Well, uh, it uh, just happened to work out well today. It, uh, you have those days where the guy actually is rolling out to your side, and it uh, just was fortunate enough. I, I really can't pronounce the guy's name, whatever it is. Werfel. Uh, <laughs> uh, I really don't know the spelling of that, but uh, he ended up uh, coming to my side. It just worked out well. It really did. What a comeback for defense in the second half. Oh, we had a blast. It was just, you know, it was a lot of fun.